welcome back to my channel. So mm -hmm. today we created a little tiger rar, and she looks ferocious. But it's only just me. It's only Brielle. Mm -hmm. Can you see my eyes, guys? Because this is only me. Yeah, it's it's really real. I, I'm I'm not scary. No. Wait, you think I, you think you're scaring some people out there today? <laughs> So, this is really real, but today we painted her like a tiger because that's what she wanted to do. Thank you guys so much for doing my makeup. I love it so much, and I love, I, 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 I love the thing, I, I love the lip skirt, I love it, I, I just love everything. Well, if you're interested in learning how I created this little beautiful face paint on Brielle, then just keep on watching. Watching. Okay guys, so... Here I am doing a voiceover. Um, I'm a little sick, so bear with me. I'm sorry. I know I sound a little rough, but whoever stays to the end and watches this video, despite how my voice is sounding, you guys are loyal, okay? Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm using the Snazaru face paint palette. You can look it up just like that on Amazon and find it. It's $24. I would really recommend this palette because it's good if you want to practice face painting face painting on yourself or face paint on children it's a very good palette because it's a water-based face paint so it comes off very easily because I don't know about you but I don't have a lot of time to be you know having to scrub or use oils and stuff to remove face paint I just need it to come off really quickly so what I did to Brielle to give her the tiger look I started off by putting orange on the perimeter of her face kind of the way you would lay contour cream contour on your face and I wasn't too worried about being like real perfect with it because you guys will see as you add more colors, the colors blend and things, you know, they just come together at the end. So don't be going crazy over that. Um, I just put the yellow in the middle of her face and then I'm going to go in with a red color and put that on like the top of her forehead area and the cheek area. And that just gives her face a little bit more dimension. And you guys will see, you know, I'm going to blend all of those colors together after this with a clean sponge. And it just looks like, you know, I did the most when I really didn't do the most. So I did something very simple. But when you blend colors together, it looks like you did more than you actually did. You get it? You got it? You feel me? So that's what you got to do when you're face painting. And so... Brielle is crazy. I love having her over my house. She is just a little blast. She has so much energy. She loves doing videos. She begs me to do videos. Like, I don't have to brag her or nothing. She's just down for it. And guess what? I'm here to deliver. I'm here for you, baby B. So, she's just so much fun. So, right now, I'm just putting the highlight. Um, You know, the highlights of the tiger's face on. So, I'm using white face paint to do that. And don't worry if it gets messy. You can see it kind of got on the bottom of her lip, but don't worry about it. It's water-based face paint, so like I said, very easy to clean up. So I'm going to take a sponge and clean up her eyebrow area, and then use that same sponge to clean up the bottom of her mouth. And guys, guess what? I actually recorded this video a very long time ago. It was actually supposed to be put up for Halloween, but you know, whatever, you know, some, some things happen, so I couldn't get it up, so it's, it's being put up now. Um, so yeah, cause it might be kind of random. Like, why are you just putting up a face painting video? But I'm not going to let this video go to waste. No. So you guys didn't see me draw those two bold lines in the middle of her face because the camera shut off. But basically you, you know, you kind of draw that on and that's the guide for everything. So you want to start off by drawing that first because after that, it kind of helps you just draw around it. And, you know, don't worry about everything looking exactly the same. You'll see what I'm talking about then. But the more details you put on the face, the more you can't tell if things don't look exactly the same. So you just try your best. This whole video is about having fun. Face painting is very fun. But if you start nitpicking every single thing, you'll drive yourself crazy. I was doing that at first. And sidetrack. You see that stain on my shirt? I have three of these same exact shirts. Just the other week, I threw out a shirt that I thought had the stain on it. I wasn't even looking. I thought I knew what shirt it was. 
and I'm going through my shirts and I found that same stained shirt that I thought I threw out. So I had three of those shirts. Now I have one normal shirt. I threw out now the stained shirt because I found that I still had it. And it's just a mess. I'm just a mess. Anyway, um, you guys see me here kind of drawing some like wing kind of looks on her eyebrows. The picture that I was using as a reference had these on the person's eye. But since Braille's a little baby Pikachu, I didn't want that... Um, you know, smudging into her eye, her rubbing her eye and having a situation. So I just prefer to do it on her eyebrows, you know, to be on the safe side. Bro does everything I do. I tap her nose and she wants to tap her nose. So um, you guys just see me drawing little simple lines. These shapes that I'm drawing in her face aren't even like very hard to do. And you see like you can do as much or as little as you want. Like I feel like I did kind of medium, but... You could do way more and make it look way more detailed or you could do way less if you're not in the mood for all of that. Or you could do like as much as I did, but it doesn't have to be exactly, you know, the what I did. It could be whatever you want. That's the fun thing about face paint. You can get as creative as you want. Um, and then also another tip, because you see I just messed up above her mouth because I put a lot of pressure on the brush instead of being light handed. So the harder you push down on the brush, then the thicker the lines will be. So if you want thin lines, then I would suggest using a light hand. But don't worry if you mess up. Again, this is a water-based face paint, so it's a quick cleanup at the end. So I'll show you guys how I do that in a little bit. But I'm just now drawing her little nose on, and I'm going to add a few more details. But we're pretty much almost done. There's not that that much left to do. Um, so you guys can see how simple this really is even though it looked probably like when you first saw her like it was like so much like or maybe very hard but it's not it's easy so I hope you guys try it I hope you guys you know do this on yourself or try and do this on somebody else if you have a niece and nephew maybe try and do it you see how much fun she's having like it's just a fun little thing to do um, so this is me cleaning it up I use a generous amount of white face paint and I dab that over her mouth area. I'm now I'm gonna go over anything I might have colored over, like those little markings around her mouth. Um, darken them up, draw her lips back on, do the line in the middle from her nose to the mouth, and then lightly with a light hand draw the whiskers. And then at the end, Brielle wanted teeth. <laughs> She's so cute. Uh, but she wanted teeth, so I'm gonna clean up on the bottom of her mouth and then draw a little teeth which I drew kind of in the shape of fangs um, and I filled that in with white face paint um, her teeth and I didn't care too much if some of the black paint blended into the teeth so it didn't look like white white kind of look a little bit realistic you know so how simple was that guys so easy so cute perfect for children um, face painting parties, whatever. It's so much fun. If you guys made it to the end of this video, you guys are so loyal because my voice is rough right now. So this is the completed look. This is what Brielle looks like with um, her little tiger face paint. And um, please like and subscribe for more videos like this of me doing other people's makeup. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.
lying. You wanna do that? Mm hmm. Bro, you gotta pick the most extra one. Guys, sure? guys, comment down below. Do you do you like tiger? <laughs> do you hear me? Yes, do you like tigers? Do you wanna do this for real? Yes. Guys. Or do you wanna be a rabbit? I wanna be a lion. Oh my gosh. You gotta pick the most complicated one. I'm gonna do it because you want it, right? Deal or no deal? Deal. 